Are you ready? Yeah, I'm good to go. Right, cool. How you guys doing today? Hello, hi, hi. Hey. Yeah, well, the geeks are back. I'm, I'm here too. <laughs> well, I just I just say both of us. Oh. I said geeks as in I'm plural. Just, I'm, I was I was silent there for a minute. Yeah. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And today we are coming to you talking about stuff. Yeah, live from not live on the internet. I mean, we're live in the moment of the recording. I guess that counts. I mean, so uh, maybe one day we should do a live show. I doubt we'd get anybody <laughs> watching. Watchers. We'd have like four viewers and <laughs> three of them well would be, be us. <laughs> it might as well be a fucking uh, uh, just record it normally. <laughs> yeah. So, um. We'll title it. We'll just title it Joe Rogan Podcast, and then put it out on the YouTube on fucking live stream. <laughs> is this podcast called anybody? like the Joe Rogan Experience? Isn't that what uh, it's called? Yeah, I think so. That's so we just call ours the Joe Rogan Podcast, <laughs> something like that. Some shitty like. Like we'll just title like like it'll still be called the Ungodly Geeks Podcast. So mm-hmm. the title will be the Joe Rogan Podcast, <laughs> well, and then you get on there and you listen to it or watch the video or whatever, and we're just talking about like dicks and toast and shit, shit. Like, like what the fuck we'll fucking we'll tag all of the uh like topic tags or whatever the fuck youtube uses will be like kevin smith the official podcast um like smodcast like all other these other podcasts like, the nerdist <laughs> the nerdist podcast like all that shit <laughs> my brother my brother me like all these other major fucking podcasts. star talk <laughs> yeah even though there is nothing intellectual <laughs> yeah. about the things we're talking about. We have nothing to do with any of those. <laughs> we just get random viewers and just hate. Just utter hate to the guys. Oh, that, that sounds... You know what? That's better than nothing. <laughs> it's true. It'll fucking, that's how you get your um, name out there, I guess. So we're going to start with uh, how we always do with news and stupid. Yeah. A vegan woman in Australia is suing her neighbors over grilling in their backyard. <laughs> Not she can, her backyard. She can backyard. taste the grease. Uh, their backyard. Um, she's filed a suit against her neighbors in the Australian Supreme Court after complaining about the smell of meat and fish emanating from their barbecues. I, okay. I can see this 100% if this was it said California, Southern California. I see it happening. This bitch is going to be like... I, I, Australia, I don't know. Maybe their courts are crazy. But Australia? That's um, all that we know them for is barbecue. <laughs> and she, she basically accused her uh, neighbors of intentionally setting up these nuisances. <laughs> Which, yes, they are intentionally barbecuing. Um, I have my personal doubts about whether they're barbecuing just to fuck with her. I think, like, if it were me, it would be a little bit of both. I got to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. because I'm going to hate vegans. It's like, if you're, if you're a vegan, you do you. Don't be the typical vegan and make it known that you do you. Or tell me that I should do you. Right. Like, don't make me do it. Like, I'm going to yeah, do don't what try I'm going to do. Your thing I'm on a me. meat eater. I love beef. I love chicken. I love pork. I love mm-hmm. bacon. I love these things. I don't care. Like, like listen. I have a lot of empathy. I have a lot of sympathy, but that's food. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't care how it's treated. Is it delicious? Yes. Okay. Put it in my face. Mm-hmm. Like, I know these conditions are deplorable. I know they're horrible. Is the is it safe to eat? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Safe to eat. I, I, I'm on the, I'd like better conditions because food tastes better when the animals are treated better. Absolutely. <laughs> that is Absolutely. That I have. Like I, like, all right. So like the em, the empath in me does want better treatment for them because yeah. they're animals and they don't deserve to be like, you know, to live in the conditions they're in. But ultimately, their purpose yeah. is to feed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like I understand you have your moral objections. Your way of eating is not better for the environment. It's been proven. In yeah. fact, it might be worse in some areas because you might you have to use more water. You have to use stronger pesticides, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but, there's the, yeah, there's no getting away from a negative impact in the environment. <clears throat> there's, way, there's just with not. just the way that we do. Um, but anyway, so she gets back to this. Yeah. She's angry, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can smell this fish. I can't enjoy my backyard. Okay, I get that. I hate fish. So, yeah. <laughs> fuck fish. Um, the funny thing is the lower court threw out the case in February. Of course. With the reasoning, what they are doing is living in their backyard and their home as a family. Mm-hmm. 
It was that. So it's out. It's not in court anymore. No, no. She's taking it to a higher court. Oh, she's taking it to like their Okay, so yeah, court back in February, she took it to a low. She, took, she sued them. A lower court threw it out. So now she's taking it to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. So she's taking this shit to the federal level. She was mm-hmm. at the state level before. They said, fuck you. You're an idiot. Now she's going to the store. Um, it's like, this is amazing. And here, here's the thing. Oh, okay. I, I just read this part because I guess I skimmed over this. Mm-hmm. She's do- this is the second time she's brought it to the Supreme Court. Oh, my God. The Supreme Court also rejected her claims in July dismissing the case. So this is the second time she's brought mm-hmm. it to court. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's maybe it's not the fact that they're grilling. It's the fact that one of their kids is standing next to the girl with a giant, like, palm leaf <laughs> waving the... the, the I mean, if she had, like, her. video proof of that, <laughs> yeah. I would be 100% on her side. Like, 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 if they, t- like, if they set up a fan next to the grill blowing <laughs> it in the air, like, fan. okay, now you're a dick. See, see, if I'm over there grilling one day, whatever, I've got my neighbors like, hey, um, I'm vegan. It's like, oh, okay. Hey, you know, if you ever have a barbecue, I'll make sure to get you some Impossible Burgers or something. Um, I don't use the top rack. You know, I'll grill there or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It won't, it won't be contaminated. Uh, oh, no. You shouldn't grill so much. I can smell that. No. This is my backyard. I'll do what I want. At that point, yeah, my girl is going right next to the fence on their side. Like, I'm going to, like, wait for the wind to be blowing and then open that bitch up. Like, hey, neighbor, how's it going? Okay, see, I, I'm not gonna be that much of a like if they if, if she's a cunt like one time fine, but I'm gonna be like uh, respectfully no. But if she's like a she's been a bitch, and the fact that she's taken it to court now three times, three times she's a been a bitch. She's been a fucking. She's probably every time they grill yells at them like. Here, no, here's this, something. This that... is the point where, yeah, no, I'm being a fucking asshole too. And kids were grilling out every night this week. Here's the thing that just kills me. The lady has filed nearly 600 pages of documents in her appeal of the case. So they've been... <laughs> well in excess of anything that might be thought to be proportionate to the issues, said the yeah. Supreme Court Chief Justice who oversaw it. So they're just going to throw it out again. Probably, They're, they're yeah. probably looking at her like, we're not okay. going over 600 so documents. Here's the thing that I think puts the nail in the coffin for me. Yeah. Where I would just not support her at all. Um, and like I said, if video evidence came up, like I said, of her, like, like <laughs> palming. Fan, like, or like, like, okay, now you're being a dick. <laughs> yeah. And I, and uh, if you can, perform, of course, provide evidence of her being a colossal cunt about everything. Yeah. Okay, fine. You do what you do. Um, I'm a good person. I just want peace and quiet. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. If they're not purposely like, Pushing the smell over to your property because smell just it just if does. the wind's gonna take it right like, like it just yeah. does right it it yeah. just exists it's not malicious it doesn't hurt anybody it's let also me not ask like you a garbage. question let me ask it's you not, it's not unreasonable smell right so let me ask you a question yeah um all they want is peace and quiet too right yeah and if they're not purposely infringing upon your peace and quiet. What right do you have to purposely infringe on their piece of quiet to prevent them from barbecuing in their own backyard? Exactly. It's that it's that your rights stop at the other person's rights. Right. Like like your rights stop where mine My begin. begin. Yeah. So like you have no like recourse to sit there and trample on mine. Yeah. Um anyway, we're gonna move on. I That's got one funny. more one I, more I story. Fucking... Um a Roman Catholic school in Tennessee, because of course it's got to be here in the U.S., yeah. has banished J.K. Rowling's universally popular series of Harry Potter. I heard about this, yeah. Um, after its pastor, which... Priest? No, pastor. Um, Roman Catholic... Yeah, they I, have priests. Okay, whatever, I don't, I don't give know. a shit. Listen, I, guess it I don't doesn't matter. care. I don't know, maybe it's they a, it's, pastors he's too. He's a church official yeah. or whatever, and he's probably retarded. Um, took an exception to their portrayal of magic, warning the spells and curses the author describes are real and risky, conjuring evil spirits in red. Okay, let's get some shit straight here. Magic is not real. There is no spell to summon a demon that will actually summon a demon. I'll put the curse um, at you. There is no spell that will do all your fucking homework for you or sweep your chimney or... Uh, the the devil does not exist neither does god stop it 
Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. This is a not story. Like, this, it, it, like, whoever picked it, is this, like, some little... No, this is the independent. So, like, this is actually, like... Pick this up? Like, okay, look, <clears throat> if this was a public school whose principal decided because... It, it Like, fucking Mississippi, where that, that story came out where their principal was like... Oh, not Maybe not Mississippi, but somebody was like, I will not have evolution taught in my school. Yeah. It's like, you don't have a choice. This is fucking science. You... Goddamn idiot. Yeah. Or governor. Somebody said that. I Yeah. I, That's a story. You know, that sounds like it came from Florida. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know why. I, don't, I, I, don't I lean why. towards Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. I, I'm 90% but, sure that was, a, that was a Florida man story. Um. But I mean, Florida, you know, that that's right up there, too. Either way, that that sort of thing at a Catholic school doesn't surprise me at all. My school that I went to, my, the, the Christian Baptist school I went to, banned Pokemon cards because they were pocket monsters and they taught evolution. Um, they had already banned Magic the Gathering. Because Magic the Gathering was evil and demonic and there were demons they summoned and this was teaching kids demon demonic things. And somehow that would take them away from God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like anything they have this. There's some religious people that have this idea that if you let kids have any fantasy, they might realize that your religion is a fantasy, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And. Or at least that's their fear. I wonder if, like, subconsciously they know, oh, man, if they realize that that's not real and it's bullshit, maybe they'll realize that this is not real and is all bullshit, too. <gasps> we can't have that. <laughs> so ban it. Get rid of these. You can't have Magic the Gathering cards. If you realize that, you know, you can't summon a fucking giant worm to eat your enemy's fucking uh, beasts or whatever... Uh, that, you know, God didn't summon bears to eat children that mocked one of the prophets right, yeah, for being exactly. bold. Right, yeah. Wait, seriously. Yeah, it's, <laughs> um, it's kind of funny. It's a, a, it's a not story, but at the same time, it's like, seriously, this is this is what they do, people. The Reverend Dan Rehill explained his decision in an email to the parents of students at St. Edward Catholic School in Nashville, declaring that he had consulted with exorcists in the U.S. and at the Vatican before outlawing the seven-volume tale of the boy's wizard career at Hogwarts and his battle against Lord Volder, Voldemort, which I think is spelled wrong. Voldemort? Voldemort ah! and the forces of darkness. <laughs> I quote. I they spelled it the way he said it. He just did. Because. Yes, they did. Volder. They they put it and then R put in there. Voldemort in. <laughs> no, they didn't. Unfortunately, that would have been amazing. These books present present. These books present magic as both good and evil, which is not true, but is but in fact a clever deception. The curses <laughs> and spells used in the books are actual curses and spells, which, when read by a human being, human being risk conjuring evil spirits into the presence of a person reading the text. The Reverend Reheal wrote, apparently in all seriousness. See, so, hold, this, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I actually up. respect it a little bit. This is awesome. This is not the case of, like, my school banning things. This is better. So this let is, me ask this, this is the Reverend, Catholic Church legitimately believing Harry Potter is real. I want to, I got to pose a question to oh them. Oh my God. Well, they believe, they believe ridiculous shit. But yeah. I got to pose a question to the Reverend now. Um, these books have been out for years. Mm -hmm. I mean, years upon years upon years. Do you have any evidence, statistical, empirical, even anecdotal, um, that anyone reading these texts out loud has summoned a demon? Um, because I'm going to guess, no, you don't and you're just an idiot or just a fear-mongering asshole um i mean seriously these books have been out for fucking years if any of these texts contained real curses and real spells to summon real demons by now statistically speaking with 7.5 billion people on this planet and hundreds of millions of these books in circulation somebody by now would have summoned some shit and somebody would have went what the fuck is that? Somebody would have summoned some shit at one of those midnight releases when they were riding by going, uh, Snape kills Dumbledore or some shit. Something would have happened then. Like, come on, dude. Are you fucking serious? Yep. Oh, my God. I remember. I just can't. I, a, I, 
I I can't even with how stupid some of this shit that pops up is. What's crazy to me is he says he contacted the Catholic Church. Like as far as the major organization, I've I was he under the, the Vatican. The Vatican, yeah. I was under the impression that the Vatican had done like a whole hell of a lot to separate themselves from the idea of exorcisms and of like demonic possessions, like in like the last twenty years, because it's ridiculous and yeah, stupid. Yeah, and, and they realize that it's ridiculous and stupid. Like like the uh, the the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose is a great example because that yeah. was an actual like event that happened, and the Catholic Church was asked this, and a lot of fucking priests had to go on TV and be like, um, well, maybe you know, sometimes we still have exorcism. Uh, and then the Catholic Church was like, yeah, we're gonna like just sweep this under the rug. Mm-hmm. But there's total. I, I guess there's some that still perform exorcisms and it's officially ordained by the church but it's like they keep it very quiet on hush, like hush. the yeah like man yeah, we're not gonna have, you know still yeah but um, I don't know so That's here's weird. the thing that, that kills me um, because this guy claims he contacted the Vatican but here's a story from Reuters mm-hmm. um, from 2009 July 15 2009 Vatican finally gives Harry Potter its blessing yeah no so I you like- contacted the Vatican and they confirmed for you that this stuff is is evil. But ten years ago, they said it was fine. Yeah, it's. Like I a whole smell load of bullshit. bullshit. So anyway, yeah. Um. Okay, so let's let's go. Let's move on to oh, our that. main topic at hand, which I don't know if any of you guys who listen know, but Nintendo just did a thing. They're Nintendo Direct. They just dropped a. 40-ish minute video. Actually, I don't even think it was that long. I think it was around 34 minutes. Um, and it was just a bunch of fun. And they announced a lot of things. So, Luke, let's talk about our favorite things from those announcements. Yeah, fucking, like, Nintendo, every time one of these directs comes out, there's, like, unexpected random games that's just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking play that on the Switch, I guess. <laughs> um the, it, it's it's not super unexpected, but the first thing they announced um, being Overwatch kind of surprised me a I little mean, bit. Cause I, all right. I thought it would have come out already. Yeah. I guess yeah. is more like I, I just I think, assumed it's not coming to Switch because it would have already come out. But I guess right now they're just now getting their feet into the online, which is kind of important for <laughs> Overwatch. Here's the thing that I think pisses me off about it. Mm-hmm. Because, okay, it's just dumb. Um, you don't need the Nintendo smartphone app to do voice chat. Oh, did they with, require with, it for this? Not with Overwatch. With oh. Overwatch, you just plug a headset into the fucking headphone jack and go. Yeah. Like, so why the fuck couldn't you do that with other games? Like, okay, listen, I completely understand the technical limitations you have with Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. I'm not, a, I, I, I've let that go. Because, yeah. you know, the controllers are Bluetooth. They soak up, like, 90% of the fucking bandwidth. You don't have much left for voice chat. So, I get that. I, I, I'll let that one fly. Like, I completely understand that. My thing is, why why can't you do this with other games? Like, I have at least four pairs of wired headphones with an inline mic. Can't you play um, Smash with just a inline wired mic? No. Okay, I thought no, there, there. I thought there, there were other games that just work. Um, there is Fortnite. Okay, Fortnite apparently just works. So Fortnite and Overwatch. Um, well, any dumb. Nintendo game with online component. If you want to do voice chat, you got to bust out your cell phone, connect to that stupid fucking Nintendo app. Yeah, and go with it. Yeah, I remember that being a big thing with um the Splatoon, which it seems like maybe it's like a fucking first party <clears throat> thing that they want you to use that dumbass app. Like, that, that's something that know. Nintendo just needs to let go. Because like I said, I have plenty of... It makes no sense. Yeah. You have the built-in headphone jack and the Switch. Just use it. Yeah, just use it. And how many pairs of decent headphones are out there with yeah. mics in line? You know, like Even I mean, for cheap as hell, too. Yeah, like, like, like 15 okay, like, bucks. Like, these studios don't have them, obviously. Mm-hmm. But, like, like you said, you could pick up a $10, $15, $20 dollar pair of headphones mm-hmm. that has an inline mic. Every pair of earbuds that I have has an inline mic. Yeah. Like, so why can't we just pop that bitch in and use it for that stuff, you know? 
my one more both my one mores have them mm-hmm. um my cheap ass panasonics that i lost two years ago i have no fucking idea where they are have them it's, it's another like, it's another case of nintendo being nintendo doing like weird extra shit. shit yeah just weird dumb shit let's be honest here um <clears throat> i just i don't know but uh, yeah they got overwatch which is kind of cool yeah i mean i'm not i don't care <laughs> Um, yeah, no, about it's Overwatch. not a game. But you know, it's kind of neat that it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come. But like you said, I'm, I'm kind of with you on the whole. I thought it was already going to be there. Yeah, uh, it doesn't surprise me that it's there though. And I, I'm, I mean, with how lightweight that game is, I'm sure it plays at 60 frames and 720p on the Switch just fine. Yeah, um, it's one of those games that like I, I won't play it. I played it on no, pc no, I won't. however i would i, I th- kind of i would think about it because coming to the switch gonna have lots of new players i might not suck as bad as i did when i picked it up on I, pc i mean i'll tell you this much <laughs> um if it allows like a local offline multiplayer like like four four like maybe four people get together and play it against yeah. each other like in the comfort of our living rooms or something I would consider it. It's one of those, but games I highly that, doubt it. it that's how because it's a MOBA, basically. Yeah. Well, no. It's it's a character. Um, it's a Team Fortress Two clone. Right. Which it's a, I mean, which it could be argued as a MOBA, which stands for Multi Online Battle Arena, which is basically what it is. Multi- yeah. Yeah. But MOBAs I, are like the I game know what you're saying. Are I'm just different. like I'm just it's, saying with the wording of MOBA, it's a MOBA. Yeah. Okay. But that's where anything can be a MOBA then, because any first person shooter is a multi. Well, I mean, we could argue the same thing arena. for RPGs. Yeah, exactly. RPG. So sure. But in this case, it's it's yeah. specific is a character uh, character shooter or whatever the fuck the I'm missing a word there but it's it a, doesn't matter it's a it's a character driven shooter yeah a multiplayer shooter but it's I I don't think it'd be fun with like just a few people playing unless you could play with bots or they did do a Halloween mode similar to when Team Fortress 2 added the robot apocalypse thing mm-hmm. where you fought AI controlled like robot characters uh, that was kind of fun. Right. That I could see play four player co op offline or like well online off whatever. That could be really entertaining. Right. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's just not a game that I don't. I, I just don't think it works very well with like less people. Well, what um, I'm saying is like it would just be nice to have like an offline mode so that we can all suck together. Yeah, I mean, I I could see something like that. Um, the. I mean, Something like, like, yeah, it's a team-based shooter, and you could have, like, one player on each team with two AI partners. Something. I don't see why not, you know, is basically what I'm saying. There is, there was something recently that has an offline, uh, has some offline multiplayer, and I can't remember what it was I saw that was like, okay, that's cool. That, yeah, it's good to see games still doing, like, split-screen stuff. Right. Um, <clears throat> like, Luigi's Mansion is going to have quite yes, a bit of that Yes, which I kind of... Um, all right, so I've never played a Luigi's Mansion game before, but they showed off uh, some more of Luigi's Mansion Three, and I'm thinking I might grab it. I'm definitely picking. Yeah, it up. like it I looks. Like, it I like the cool. first Luigi Mansion, and the game is legitimately fun. Right, uh, and see, this one looks really, really interesting. It does like I said, I've never played them. Uh, it, it, like for me, it's it just was one of those games that never crossed my path. Mm-hmm. So I never played it. Um, it's the same thing with like Animal Crossing games. Mm-hmm. Like I never played the Animal Crossing games because they just never. I I never I played the games that my dad bought yeah. growing up. I've said that before, and um, it wasn't until I was an adult that I was able to get games that I wanted. Um, but because I had only had this little narrow slice of experience, I didn't know what I liked. So Animal Crossing never popped up. Never came across my radar. Um, but this new Animal Crossing, like the new Luigi's Mansion, yeah. looks like it might be kind of nice. It might make me want to buy it. I am not someone that usually gets into those, um, like, n- just s- s- almost like slice of life games. Yeah. Animal Crossing. Like, I tried to play... Um, one of the big ones, like uh, Harvest Moon, is another good example. Harvest Moon isn't, yeah. Um, there was one that came out. It's a like a, a spiritual successor to Harvest Moon on the it's PC. Stardew Valley, yeah. yeah. Uh, I bought that on the Switch and played yeah. that for, or 
PC. I don't remember where I got it. You but bought I played it for somewhere a while. And you played I bought it. it somewhere. I played it for a while. I have a hard time keeping like playing those games because yeah. I I'll play them for a while and you know keep playing it. But as soon as if I take a day and don't play it or play something else. I almost never go back to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in this is Animal Crossing's always been a game that just looks like a whole lot of fun. Like you could just right, yeah. oh, I could see myself playing that for a while and just, you know, like, oh, you're running around collecting bugs and digging up trees and shit, moving them around and build like building your house and making all the other fucking characters in your village happy. And then it's like, but I'm no, I'm like, I'm I'm not going to play it's it a, after as a, a time week. sink, yeah, yeah. And there's there's I people I know that play have put hundreds and hundreds of hours into Animal Crossing. Will say like they hit this point after like 700 hours where they look at themselves and go, "What the fuck have I been doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and they go away from the game. Completely loved that like one to 700 hours of game time. Loved every second of it. And then there was a point where they hit it and went, why? <laughs> why, am I, why am I doing <laughs> why this? Why am I gardening to make this fucking raccoon happy? <laughs> to pay off this, got my debt to this goddamn raccoon bastard. <laughs> Fuck you, raccoon. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those games that I've never, I've never gotten into that series. Every time I see a new one come out, yeah, uh, I'm kind of like, maybe I'll pick this one up. <laughs> No, yeah. No. This one though, you're right. This one does have more to it, like especially like you can visit other players' camps and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. And right, I, I yeah. Know. Like I remember the one for the GameCube where they added a microphone so you could chat with other people online. Yeah, um, was like a huge gimmick, and I you know I don't know if it paid out or paid off or anything, but like I just I, it was one of those games that's always been like maybe I'll, no. No, <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. No, I know nah, myself bro. that I'm not gonna get hooked, most likely. <clears throat> yeah, just because I, and especially now that I don't really have a lot of time that I spend playing games, mm -hmm. I'll play for a few hours at a, at a maybe two or three hours in a sitting. Yeah, uh, and then I just get distracted by something else. Even Fire Emblem, I'm barely like anywhere through on Fire Emblem, and I love it. But I'll play one battle, and then I won't touch the game for like two or three days. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like, I've gotten to a point where I'm grinding my characters. Mm -hmm. And so I only ever play it on the toilet. <laughs> Just so, whenever. Like, yeah, like, oh, I, I got to do another couple battles. All right, all right get, get, get clawed at the level 50. I will. I do, though, straight up carry my Switch around like all the time at home. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm going to go do this but while i'm waiting for that i'm gonna play fire emblem and then half the time i just end up fucking on my phone fucking around on reddit or youtube yeah 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 or something so some of the other announcements um that are kind of cool the xenoblade chronicles definitive edition i'm like is that is that the second xenoblade or is that the one that came out before listen i have Switch? no fucking idea <laughs> <laughs> that was the final announcement that was the one on wii um okay. so so yeah um, I'm, I'm kind of I'm Xenoblade kind of, 2 was the Switch game that came I, out at the beginning of this lifespan I think I have no idea I don't remember listen I'm not going to claim to know because um, I haven't paid that much attention mm -hmm. but the games are apparently like I've, I've heard so much good about the games yeah and I'm very much like an RPG fan like that JRPG fan so it's one of those things that I might like check out because I never knew what Xenoblade Chronicles was I never knew anything about Xenoblade because it was just one of those games that, once again, never crossed my path. So now that it's, like, popping onto the Switch, I might I might grab it. You know, just just to experience it. Uh, find Apparently, it's the one that features Shulk, which Shulk is in yeah, Smash. So, okay, so it was. it's definitely the first one. Yeah, there. like, so it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, let's, let's find, I want to play that. And, you know, learn about that character, basically. Learn about that character a little bit, right. So that that's going to be coming out uh, next year. And it's like, all right, that's cool. I might grab that. Um, something that like, like legitimately was a surprise, like kind of, okay, that's out of absolutely out of fucking nowhere to me anyway. I don't know. Maybe there was some hints. Um, there was not <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Knight two Jedi outcast. Yeah. Right. Like that's, that's where the cool. fuck I'm not, I'm fine. I love the Jedi Knight. Games. Yeah. No, I'm not complaining. Those games are awesome. Jedi Knight, Jedi outcast. Um, the Je uh, Jedi Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, they were the, great games. These are fucking awesome Star like, Wars games. The, uh, wasn't it originally on the PC? 
Was it on the I PC? don't think they. I don't. I think they did get console releases later. I'm sitting there thinking, like, for some reason, this calls out to me like a PS2 game or something like that. Maybe there was. I know there was an Xbox port. I don't remember if there was a PS2 port. I I I, I don't know the exact system, but I mm-hmm. I know I played this game um, before I was a PC gamer. Long before I was yeah. a PC gamer, and I've been a PC gamer for like nine years now. I know Jedi Academy came out to consoles because right. I remember that had um, Xbox Live Play and maybe it had PlayStation Online Play as well. Uh, and that game was Here. ridiculously fun. Wikipedia knows. Yeah, it, um, it will tell us. It will tell us. Yeah, it was released on Windows, OS X, GameCube, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. Oh, it did come. So, oh, that's right. The yes, GameCube. I played it on I GameCube. I played it on the GameCube too. That's where I first played Jedi Knight. Because that was right uh, about two. like, like um, pardon me. GameCube was like, it had that lifespan where it was right about the time I started to become. Uh, oh, they are doing Jedi Academy as well. I, I thought it was just Jedi and Outcast. Awesome. <laughs> I like But that. yeah, it, like it did come out on the GameCube. It was released in 2002. I probably mm-hmm. would have played it um, a few years later, right before I, uh, I went to trade school. When I was li- uh, living with my friends, and uh, yeah, that's that's where I would have played it, and so I was like, like I was like, I I know I've played this game before. There you go. I don't know how well the game will have aged. I mean, um, uh, like they'll have to do some updating, right? Because I remember I, what I remember from the controls when I played it on PC. Because I played it went like in the Xbox 360 that right, like, much right, later, yeah, right? And it is very very kind of floaty. And it goes from a uh, first per. U- I think you can put it in third person when you're shooting a gun too. But when you're using blasters and other weapons, uh, it's first person. And then when you switch and you eventually get the lightsaber, get force powers and everything, it's third. And I just remember kind of feeling like very floaty. Like you're a Jedi and you have you know j- jump abilities where you're jumping like three stories high and stuff. Right. Yeah. So you'd be running around like you force lightning and then jump over people, and it's not very like accurate like it doesn't it doesn't feel like a um like most hack and slash games feel with like where you, you you're hitting and you know you're hitting yeah, locked yeah. on enemies but if the lightsaber hits them they die <laughs> so it's kind of floaty where you'll run by and just be swinging at nothing but the fact that you swung like really wide over this way you'll catch somebody in the head and cut their head off <laughs> so it's so if you watch, if you can, look up YouTube videos of Jedi Academy battles where there's like 10 or 15 people in an arena and they're just running around and it's pure chaos. It's hilarious. That's amazing. That's why the game was so fun. That is amazing. Oh, man. But yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely love that game. I still remember getting to the final boss of Outcast. And he's this, I think it was a Trendoshan, the big, like, lizard race from Star Wars. Yeah, right. And it's a Sith Lord. And him, like, literally, I must have fought him 10 or 15 times, and he killed me in one to two hits every time. Because, I mean, it's a fucking lightsaber. So it would literally, I'd run up and fight. There's different stances and things like that. And, like, I'd, like, be trying to block and then go to swing at him and die. Oh, no. I'd go again, and I'd try to fight him, die. And die and die and die. And it got so frustrating. And finally, I don't even, I still don't know how I beat him. Right. I just started mashing the different stances and the attack button, I think, and hitting him with like force push and shit and just cheesed him to death. You got to do but, what you got to do. Like, all right. So there's a, there's a boss in Bloodstain who yeah. uh, heals from damaging you. Mm, and that like, sounds annoying. Yeah. Like, like, and she's a bitch. Like, she's yeah. a complete bitch. She's a vampire chick. You fight her. Um, it, I cheesed the fuck out of that fight because I already knew how the fight was going because I had watched somebody stream in the game and him yeah. streaming the game maybe I'm buying this game today. Yeah. And so I did and I bought it on two different platforms and I'm not going <laughs> to go through that again. Um, but I'm sitting there and like when I got to that boss, I'm like, I have this ability from this other boss I fought. I'm just going to use that and I cheese the fuck out. Yeah, just sat back. Because I already knew. I already mm-hmm. knew how bullshit the fight was. I already knew. I'm like, fuck this. You're going to get 
a bunch of dragon fire to the face. And yeah. that's exactly what I did. And I won. Yeah. And I didn't feel bad about it. Like I like most boss <laughs> fights, I like I approach the boss fight. All right, I'm going to analyze their moves and dodge. You know, and try and dice. figure out how yeah, you're supposed exactly. to beat them. Yeah. Um, with her, I'm like, no, I don't care. I'm just going to fire you. Yeah, place. I'm just going to fucking avoid In this fact, shit. In fact, the boss that I got the ability from that I fought, I used against her, um, I actually had a glitch that dropped me through the floor and let me attack the boss without taking any damage. <laughs> and, like, I didn't feel bad about that mm-hmm. because I later beat it anyway, like, uh, legitimately. I didn't feel bad about that, though, because that wasn't me. That wasn't my fault. Yeah, I didn't the glitch the floor. The, the game just knocked me to the floor below, and I'm like, huh. And then I discovered that that boss isn't fully rendered. You only get what you see on screen. Yeah. And, like, you go around the back of the boss, <laughs> and it's just, like, a head floating with, like, I don't know, 30 feet of a body, but the body's only, like, half rendered. It looks like... It looks says, terrible. like, players won't see this. Yeah, it's like, it's like you see the head of the, of the boss, and that's super detailed, and then you get to the back of it, and it just looks like a streamer. Yeah. It's from the back, like, like... Like, they just took a bunch of paper mache streamers and glued them all together and put them on the back of the head, and boom, there yeah. you go. That's that's the boss. <laughs> but it was a great game. Behind the walls. <clears throat> um, yeah. Some things that I'm excited about, mm-hmm. Doom 64 is coming to Switch. Yeah. I like, like, I love the classic Doom ports. Um, a little bit shitty on Bethesda that they require you to sign in. Well, they don't require you to, but you have to sign in. Like, they, they nag you every the time Bethesda, you the, the Bethesda. Didn't, the, I thought they took that out of the Doom, uh, um, the Doom and there, Doom 2. They made it so that it's not required. Okay. So, you like, you every time it pops up when you start the game, you can just, not now. Oh, you can okay. skip it. And, uh, well, not skip that it. Because that was really fucking great. Yeah, like. You know, DRM on a 40-year-old game or whatever. A 40-year-old game, which, by the way, is open source now yeah they ain't no fun that, that's all i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna funny. i'm just gonna say that where the engine of the game is open source and you can get the original game files on steam for five bucks yeah <laughs> anyway yeah no um doom 64 is coming to switch uh i've like that this is a game i, I don't know like the doom community is kind of split on it but not split in the way where everybody hates each other but it is still a really good game. I personally love Doom 64. Mm-hmm. And um, it actually was the game that made me like Doom to begin with. Um, because Doom wasn't before my time. I was like six or so when a game came out. But I was completely unaware that Doom existed for a while until we got the PlayStation copy. And the PlayStation copy was really, really cool. But it was like, eh, whatever. But when I played Doom 64, I can remember having lots of fond memories playing Doom 64, unlocking the the Unmaker, and then trouncing through the game and finding the upgrades to it, Mm -hmm. getting the other keys, and then getting to that last boss, the mother demon brain bitch, and blasting her with that fucking game. Oh my god. Like, I just love that game. Mm -hmm. And the Unmaker, to this day, is probably my favorite Doom weapon like official cannon doom weapon um like the gauss cannon is right up there with it from from the reboot but i don't know i just love the unmaker yeah. it's just got this really cool motif it's got like the demon crest in it it's got the fucking horns on it like I it mean, looks its really name cool. is the unmaker it's a badass name yeah like it, it and like you look at it and it looks demonic as shit but then yeah. you realize this thing destroys demons. Yeah. Like, even in its unupgraded form, it takes, like, 30 shots to kill a cyber demon. And cyber demons are one of the strongest enemies in the Doom franchise. Yeah. Like, bar none, they are the big badasses of, of the canon stuff. Now, of course, there are, like, mods and shit for the original Doom that add stronger enemies. Like a fucking giant cyber demon that's, like, 10 times the size of the normal one that has, like, Hundred thousand health, whatever, but still, yeah, it's one of those things of where I'm kind of excited for that small little announcement. I didn't know they could do it because Midway owned the rights to Doom sixty four, and I they if, are gone. Uh, yeah, so. I wonder if that maybe that's why they're doing it. Is they're just because the, who the fuck's going to stop them? Yeah, maybe. And it maybe or it the rights might have probably went back to it. After or yeah, Midway or maybe went away. maybe it like found whoever owns the rights and bought them. That's true too. I yeah. mean, it like just because a company went under doesn't mean that like nobody owns the rights or something. Usually they sell. Yeah, yeah they sell like, the properties. Like but when, I bet um, I'd be willing to bet they probably got the rights back when they like went under. Like when THQ they went down yeah. and THQ Nordic bought the rights to THQ games or something mm-hmm. like that. Like it, I don't know, it was weird. Because yeah. THQ, THQ is gone. Yeah. But THQ Nordic 
is still very alive and well. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some more Pokemon Sword and Shield details that I I it's kind of like a side dumb thing right. that they added the camp system yeah but at the same time i was like this is all i've wanted out of a pokemon game forever <laughs> yeah. i just want to be able to interact with my pokemon and it's this whole system where anywhere you want you can throw down your tent and camp and have all your pokemon out and just hang out with your pokemon and the fucking like there's a this is the, the curry on rice cooking system you like that, that for them. They played that up as such a big and I was deal. like, why the fuck are they making this a big deal? It's like to distract us from the absolutely horrendous Nintendo sixty four era textures they put. Oh in the game. yeah, probably those oh textures my. are bad. Like, listen, I want I want Sword and Shield. I do. I'm yeah. I'm one of those idiots who wants these yearly games. Well, not really yearly. They release them like every three to four years. Yeah, but still, um, I do want this. I I kind of hate myself for it, but whatever. I feel no shame since I haven't played a Pokemon game since Crystal. So, <laughs> I I I bought X and Y. I I thoroughly enjoyed them. Um, I bought a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I thoroughly enjoyed those. And I did not buy in the Sun and Moon. Never played Black and White or Black and White V two. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel a little shame, mm-hmm. but it's fine. Um, people are like, you have to buy both of them. And you know what? You are absolutely correct. Here's the thing. I absolutely love RPGs. I love the formula that Pokemon games throw down. Yeah. So after I get to the end of a Pokemon game, I'm like, man, I want to do that again. So I was stupid and I bought the other copies of the games. Yeah. Um, so... I mean that's not stupid. It's just like like oh, yeah, but I mean like, most like people I know that are really into Pokemon. That's what they buy both copies of the game. Yeah, it's not like when we were kids and you got one copy and then you know hey, you know oh hey which copy did you get? Yeah, I'm getting this one. Blah blah blah. It's, right. It's no, I'm I'm a fucking adult. I'll buy both goddamn copies of Pokemon if I want. And that's what I do. Like that's my reasoning. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't buy both copies because I'm a sucker. I buy both copies because I really like the formula and I want to play it again without losing my progress. Yeah. That's why I bought Y or X. I bought Y originally because I liked the uh, mascot better. Mm -hmm. And then while I was on vacation in Pittsburgh back when those were big things, I was like, you know what? I want to play through this again, but I don't want to lose all this progress. And back then they didn't have a way to keep the progress like they do Mm -hmm. now with Pokemon Bank where you can just throw all your Pokemon and start over. Yeah. Um, So I was like, fuck it. I bought, so I just sat there, bought X Mm -hmm. and played through X on my vacation in Pittsburgh. And it was worth it to me. So, yeah, no, it's, so with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, these are really cool features and I'm with you. I want to play Mm them. I want to play with them. Um, But I'm also with, everyone on the internet who is bitching about their textures like they yeah. they really need to fix them there's like like you see like you saw the i saw like the uh content for like the video and the trailers and stuff that they showed mm-hmm. for the witcher 3 and it's like the witcher 3 is this massive beautiful graphically intense game yeah and they got it to fit on the switch and it looks like trash and it still looks better than these fucking textures from Pokemon. I and mean, if like, you're looking at a cartoony style game like Pokemon is, yeah. there's no excuse for Nintendo not to make these look beautiful. Look at any Mario game. Yes. Look at, look at um, Mario Odyssey. Look, look at, at Odyssey. Luigi's Mansion. It's fucking... Or Odyssey. Yeah, Both of those games are cartoony, bubbly, but Bright, they're fucking colorful. beautiful. The textures are amazing. Like you, look at, you, you go back even further and you yeah. look at like Wind Waker. Yeah. Wind Waker. Oh, yeah. Well, you look at like any generation original, of Nintendo. The, the original Wind Waker mm-hmm. is like amazing today. Like yeah. that so style show, that's still that bright good. cartoony style. There is, like I would be hard pressed to look at that game and I have play, I have seen the game recently like not the yeah. HD remake but that one. I would be hard pressed to find a texture that looks as bad as like that tree texture that they showed mm-hmm. in the original Sun and or the, Somebody compared it to a fucking Ocarina of Time tree. Yeah. And the Ocarina of Time tree looked better. It looked sharper. Yeah. Um, they also compared it. They also compared other textures to like a uh, fucking Goldeneye. Yeah. Goldeneye looks like, come on, dude. It's, it's really strange. These are like 25, 30 year old games. Like, why? I, I don't like, they're, okay, there's a lot to Pokemon, 
So they're doing a lot of things. Like they're even there's the I'm not mad about it, but there's a lot of people who are pissed that they're not gonna have every Pokemon textured in the game available, which I kinda get. There's four hundred and some odd now. There's like eight hundred and something Pokemon. Oh, is okay, so it's even no, Jesus no, Christ. No, no, no. There there are over eight hundred Pokemon. Now. Yeah. So it's completely understandable that they're not going to redo every single Pokemon. Right. Especially, you know, you get to like Gen 4 and you get just stupid fucking Pokemon nobody's going to ever use or play. Yeah, no, like, like, all right. Like, I get where they're coming from and I, I, I'm i not on board with them, but I understand. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily want every Pokemon in this one game. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I want them when they finally decide they're done with Pokemon, which I don't know that they ever will. No. But if they money. ever do... <laughs> Um, I do want that one big Pokemon game mm-hmm. that's like 150 fucking gigabytes and you go everywhere yeah. and you can catch all the Pokemon and you can become the true Pokemon master because now you have 1,100 fucking Pokemon. You have you have <laughs> yeah. all the Mons. <laughs> you, you have 12,000 Pokemon to catch. Right. Like, like that'll be fine. Yeah. Right now, though, like pokemon's way too strong their brand recognition's way too much They're like the number one franchise on the planet yeah um it's not happening guys but i do want that one game and when that one game comes out i don't want nintendo 64 textures <laughs> no but you know what if the pokemon don't look the best oh, whatever. and it's not yeah if if the pokemon textures were like worse than I think everyone would be up in arms. Right. But it's still like, why does your background look that bad? Mm-hmm. Why does some of these things look so terrible? Like, like it just if that shouldn't. tree, if that tree was like a hundred yards away and looked like that, yeah. fine. No, I completely get that. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how lots exactly. of games do that. Lots and lots of games do that. Look at The Witcher the, does that. Skyrim does that. Any modern 3D open world game does Spider-Man that. Look at Spider-Man on the PS. There's, there's, uh, clips of people who on Spider-Man on the PS4 that uh, you go out into the uh, bay or ocean or whatever um, and if you jump on one of the boats like way way out there which you can get to mm. and you move the camera around and to like see the person on the boat their texture is like a PS1 background texture it's really really bad which, and people are like 0 out of 10 terrible game I mean but that stuff is fine though <laughs> exactly. right? Like, it's, like, a, like, it's you, like you said you when you went out of the area in but as I get closer to that tree that texture better <sighs> pop into effect yeah. and look nice it better not look like a goddamn PS1 fucking tree yeah like there's no reason that like there's no reason that my smartphone from five years ago should be able to have better graphical prowess. <laughs> that can render Switch. a better tree. Like, I know what the Tagger X1 can do. It can do full 4K video decoding. There's no reason, which is very, very intensive. There's no reason we should have PS1 era graphics on a tree I'm right next to. Yeah. If it's like 100 yards in the distance and I can't see it. Do it. Fine. Make it flat. Make don't even render it 3D because that's like I said. That's how a lot of games work. But no. Yeah. So they if they can fix that uh, before launch, which they have what two months and some weeks. Fine. Do it. The T ghost type Pokemon that wants you to drink him. Um, that's creepy as fuck, and I don't like it. Anyway. Yeah. No, that's weird. We can move on. <laughs> um, I, I, <laughs> I just had to. I, I had mean, they have a lot there. of dumbass Pokemon. They do, mm-hmm. and that's just another. Like weird haunted fucking... ice cream cone. <laughs> so, um, although the one new one that was really stupid at first that I ended up really fucking liking was the ghost and sword type, like the ghost sword. Yeah, that one actually ends up being really fucking cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, um, I, I, it to me that that's cool because that's like a Castlevania enemy, and, right? You know yeah, what yeah. I mean, like every <laughs> slasher or horror game. Um, but it was dumb at first because you have a sword possessed by a ghost. Yeah, but yeah. But then you're like, what? Why? Why are you? Why is that what you're making a Pokemon? But then you catch it, you use it. Like, okay, you're pretty badass. I do. Uh, yeah, I, I I do like that the spe the the special abilities they're kind of adding to some Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, that fucking pelican looking bird thing, <laughs> that when it uses Surf, if it comes back with a fish in its mouth and you the enemy attacks it, it spits the fish at them. That actually, I do, I do like. Um, As a counter, I was like, "Oh no, that is so cheap and so good." Um, something cool that's just random. Mm-hmm. Uh, Devil May Cry Two is coming to Switch. Yeah, that like, was kind of like. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Devil May Cry Five is on the Switch, but they're like, no. "Fuck it, we'll throw two on there." I think they already got the first one on there. 
Okay. So now they're launching That's not two. Too surprising. I have no idea. Two I... is one that like I never played the DMC games before mm-hmm. playing the mm-hmm. new one. Um, I played a little bit of two, and I but I remember but for the most part from what I hear, that's like what's toted as like the number one of that series. I I, I, I don't really know. I definitely played the first one. I loved the first one. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't play another one until the fourth one, and the fourth one was all right. I still remember the intro to the second game mm-hmm. where he's eating pizza and fights demons in the bar and <laughs> fucking kills them and then catches the pizza, and it's amazing. Um, so yeah. I think the last uh, big thing. Definitely uh, Original Sin 2. That, that's cool. I might pick that up. Um, I Okay, I played Divinity um, on the Xbox One, the first Divinity. I've heard the second one's better. The thing is, it's a very... It's like a D&D game. Right. Like, legitimately, you're playing a D&D game. But what I found was when I was playing with a friend of mine... Um, they didn't it's very like choice driven do what you want to do blah 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 but like it doesn't feel like they explain the combat very well i i I don't know if it's just a difficulty or just my lack of knowledge but it's turn-based where you move on the grid and stuff like that it's kind of like fire emblem a little bit yeah. yeah um but it just seemed um over it seemed in, like it, overly difficult at right, times. Right. right. Um, I'm, I don't. I I've always been interested in the Vin and the original sin. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I've never tried it, but it always it, like it was always one of those. It's, it's one of those games that's been suggested to me so many times on Steam. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I might pick it yeah, up. I was Switch. not a fan of it. I know we got like, and then we got to a point where it seemed like story wise, <laughs> mm-hmm. they what they were wanting us to do they but there's no like indication of where to go right uh which was frustrating and there's lots and lots of like you have to go through books and things which and is not a bad thing i when i'm playing alone a game a lot of time you know i can i can do that but just i i was not in a mood to like sit there and and fucking read and go through some dude's house and read a bunch of books to try and figure out where he is and right and I don't know, it, it, but there's tons and tons of interesting things that the game does, especially character interaction where um, you make choices that, you know, you can one player makes one choice. The other player makes and then has to choose. Do they go along with the other player or do they choose something different? And right, right. It's it can it can be very interesting. Um, it's just I, I didn't get into the first one. The second one looks awesome, though. Right. Um, yeah, but that it looks cool. I might yeah. grab it. It's a um, game that I'm I've been thinking of going back to and just playing it on like fucking easy, right? And just seeing if I get hooked on it. Um, but I mean, it's straight up. It it like legitimately is like you're playing D and D, which obviously I love playing D and D. I like mean, playing we, we tabletop play it games. Weekly, so yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Hey, they release. Um, they announced some more about Link's Awakening and how the Chamber Dungeon thing works. It looks kind of mm-hmm. cool. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking it up Here's despite my, my objection to the weird graphics. I'm uh, – what I saw – and I was kind of doing other things while listening to the direct. Right. Um, am I not – am I incorrect in that the only way you can transfer the dungeons to someone else is using a fucking amiibo? Um, I have no idea. Because that's what they said. <laughs> like – I know that was something they said they could do. I don't know if that also means you can do... Because my thing is, if you can create dungeons and put them online the same way of Mario Maker, awesome. Right. 100%, that is cool. If you make dungeons and then your only way to play them with other people is to put them on a fucking um, specific type of amiibo and take it to your friend's house and go, here, play my dungeon, that is so Nintendo stupid. Yeah. Unbelievably Nintendo stupid. Um, I don't know. Uh, like I can't say I paid that much attention. I, just, I didn't. I, I I seriously didn't. I heard that and was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Yeah. Um. Let, let's see if we can find out while we're sitting here. Like it just it, it also like the fact that you earn the cards, the dungeon tiles in game is it is it's interesting. So it's not a just everybody can create, you know, use whatever. Um, which I think would probably be a better way to do it but i like collectibles so i'm fine with earning the dungeon cards in the game it's just really stupid if you can't like put them out there and or go and search through lots of dungeons people have made a la mario maker yeah 
Um, I'm sitting here trying to like skim through and, and find. Yeah. Uh, to me, I'm surprised if it's not something that people have been bitching about. Like, I don't know why I'm the. Maybe no one gives a shit about the dungeon craft thing. Or maybe it's just maybe it's not as bad it maybe it's not that's what i'm hoping for yeah, but like as far as from what i heard and picked up on i was like well fucking nintendo being nintendo once again that's uh, let me see here. Blah, 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 blah. um what the fuck it's um uh yeah it doesn't say anything about being able to share it with others yeah this is announced by nintendo laser you can take them on a go with the game's amiibo support so i don't know that's so dumb that is so fucking dumb uh but hey you know if this if this works well we could get a legend of zelda maker right yeah like, that's, like if, see that's why i'm kind of okay with it and then not okay maybe, with it. maybe what this is is the precursor to that they're, they're throwing this out there to yeah. test and gauge that like i i would like all right so if you ever heard of zelda um classic is that like a okay zelda classic is a uh basically a program on windows and i think maybe linux it was originally dos they did upgrade it to windows um it is a program that lets you build an original zelda game using okay. like like from the nes era yeah um so you can build your own you can make your own quests for the original legend of zelda that's pretty and awesome. play them in in the engine and um it's really really cool yeah. you can use you can use your own music and tiles and stuff um, like I said, I'm t- I'm totally down if they c- but add a dungeon like you know crafter RPG maker right exactly it, it's yeah, basically yeah. RPG maker for the original Zelda game and it's really cool I mm-hmm. I I fucking used that I loved it back in the day yeah and I, I, it's still a thing as far as I know um so like this is like a precursor to that this could be a precursor to us getting an so official doing it, yeah. uh, an official release of a system like that with yeah. our switch you know like with mario maker so i mean <clears throat> i to I, me. I i get the i very much get the feeling or like the idea that that's what this is they're going to they're going to release this thing um zelda maker or what they're going to release a zelda maker light this feature baked into a game that's already got name recognition and all that to test the waters and if people love it <clears throat> maybe we'll get an actual zelda maker which you take zelda classic the idea that it is yeah and you give us a full-blown official release of that i'm fucking down i just I, maybe that's what they're doing and that would be the totally nintendo way to do it but if you're gonna do it and i'm not saying do a full mario maker but don't do a half-assed, like, you can't share it online, you share it through a fucking Amiibo, forcing people to buy Amiibos. Like, I thought Nintendo was beyond that shit, no. other than just having it as their kind of, like, little side thing. Like, you get items in fucking Fire Emblem. It's just, that's frustrating to me. Frustrating right. is all fucking hell. Um, and it already seems like it's not something that is a... Oh, we want people. We want people to use this because, like I said, you still have to earn the things in the game. Right, right, yeah. So I, I don't know, dude. Like um, Far Cry, uh, not. I don't know if a lot of people know much about the fact that Far Cry's had a level creator system for since like the third. I one. mean, considering that I've seen insane you, yeah, things, you'll randomly in the see fifth like. One, like You'll oh see, like, God. oh, this person recreated all of Aliens Colonial Marines in Far Cry or some, like, crazy shit like that. Yeah, or, oh, yeah. hey, this person made the White House. Like, it's, like, it, it's really, really in-depth. And they've put them in there. And then they had their own whole side thing where people were creating levels and maps and things in 5, which was really, actually really cool. Yeah. Um, Like, I like, like, like they went all in on that. And that that's, that's awesome. And it's like Nintendo, like, come on. You don't you don't have to go that far. No, you with don't. the first time. But give us something. But just give us a little bit more than this bullshit. All right. Maybe it maybe it'll surprise us. So let's move know. on a little bit. Two fighters, uh, Terry Bogard come to Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I mean uh for me personally, since I was never a big fighting games I'm, fan, came out of nowhere and I don't care. As soon as they started showing the SNK characters like 
trying to catch it. Like I, I, I didn't recognize them, but I recognize, like I knew I'm like, Oh no, that's, that's King of uh, final fighter, King of fighters or something like one of those fighting games. Yeah, yeah. I've never actually like really sat down and played unless they were in a different fighting game. Yeah. And I was like, uh, this is like I'm hoping I was sitting there crossing my fingers because there was some fucking rumor a couple days ago yeah. or last week yeah. that um, Ryu would be the next announced fighter. And that got me fucking hyped yeah. because that legitimately could happen. I, think. I mean, considering he's been in the past games. Yeah. yeah he's like he been was in a the Nintendo last character. He was. Uh, oh, yeah. He was an Ami- He's a assist he was, trophy, wasn't he? No, he was in the game. Yes, Ryu he's Ryu's in the fucking game. He's in Smash Four. You can play as Ryu. No, 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 no. Yes, no. he is Ryu, a download. He is, he is a DLC character. The fucking Ninja Gaiden character. Oh no, that okay. You said you said Ryu. I thought no, no, Street no. Fighter. That's oh, no, 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 not Ryu. Hay- no, no, not Ryu. Uh, not um, Ryu Hayabusa is who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. not Ryu. Fucking Hadouken. No, yeah, Ryu that, Hayabusa is yeah. not. Uh, yeah, he's okay. not playable. We're a fighting game. Ninja. So Gaiden. that's what I think. When you yeah, said Ryu. But he's also from um, the uh, the titty fighting game. Yeah, I get um, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Which, Just... I don't know how he ended up in that. He might have been a side character, or that's where he came from. Either way, fucking Ninja Guy and Ryu um, was like... You need like, to specify that, man. <laughs> yeah. I said Ryu Hayabusa. No, you did Yes, I Maybe did. Maybe you did. I don't know. And that's why I was like, no, he wasn't, unless he was an assist trophy. But um, no, no, I, Ryu Hayabusa, like, he was like, that's what people were like, oh, maybe he's going to be the next character, which would be great. Because I, I know Ninja, Th- I think Ninja Theory still owns him or whatever that the, the their company I don't know turned who. into. But I was, I'm like, yes, please. I fucking, I love Ryu Hayabusa as a character. He's, like I've said before, how much I love Ninja Gaiden Black. Um, would love to see him come back in Smash Brothers. He would be interesting as fuck. Yeah. And then I see all these final fight characters and I'm like, please, at the end, just surprise me. Just do something different. And then fucking this fucking asshole grabbed the goddamn invitation. Yeah. And I was like, God damn it. I don't know who this guy is. And I don't I care. I know him from Capcom versus games. Yeah. Um, I think Capcom he was recently SNK, in yeah. one of the street. I think, well, street fighter versus SNK. Yeah. Like I've, I've, he, I've seen him well, play a little bit. Capcom versus SNK. Cause they had other characters that weren't Maybe. street fighter. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I yeah. get what you're saying. They've done like, those crossovers before. And I was like, I'm still like, I, I don't care. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not Whatever. excited for it, really, because I mean, to me, it's just another Ryu and Ken. Like, yeah, he's like, a fighting game. He's just another fighting game character. Like for everybody out there who's like really into SNK, Fatal Furies, and all that good shit. Like, I'm completely, I, I'm happy for you guys. Yeah, understand that I don't care. But yeah, Banjo Kazooie dropped that makes me happy. Yeah, the, the release date finally dropped on that, which is no, no, no. Great. Like the 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 character for Smash Bros. I know. The yeah. release date on the character dropped. It, it dropped yesterday. The character dropped. Is what oh, I'm the saying. character is out. Oh, the I thought they just announced yeah. the release date. Um, it was yesterday. Or uh, uh, okay. it was on the 4th. Like, if you fire up uh, Smash right now, mm-hmm. um, it'll last Oh, it will be available update. today. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking assholes. The way they announced it was like, and we finally released the date of <laughs> fucking when he's coming out. Now. Today. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, that's cool. Uh, yeah. And, and there's a few other Smash, things. Because that I'm actually excited for. Yeah, there's a few other small things. Um, um, the announcement that they're going to have more DLC characters, more DLC characters. That's a like big beyond thing to me. the the five they said they were originally going to create. Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection. I'm probably going to grab that if uh, if the performance that was kind is kind of a weird surprise too. Because he's got Black Flag and Rogue, which I'm kind of cool. I, I kind of want to play. Um, I didn't like Rogue. Normally, I kept up with like Assassin's Creed games, even though I stopped playing them after Black Flag. Yeah, I didn't remember Rogue. I don't when know it came out, Black Flag was awesome. Though. Black, Black Flag, Flag is I, like, I will yeah. probably get it for Black Flag. Um, a couple other small things: uh, Vampire is coming to. Yeah, no. that's cool. Grid Auto Sport. I love racing games, so it's a good, nice racing game. I might grab it. Uh, Witcher Three, of course. Wild Hunt. They announced the fucking release date, which actually I think they did that before this anyway. Mm-hmm. But October fifteenth. So if it's got good performance, I'll probably grab it. Uh, a couple other things. It's uh, the full game too. It's the, the DLC full too. game. Every every bit of DLC. Definitive whatever. Uh, they call it the complete edition. Yeah. Um, uh, Demon X Machina. We got a release date and a new demo. And that uh, is that that robot 
the, the, the mech game. the mech fighting game. Yeah. I did. Did, you, did we talk about that demo when it we came did, out? Yeah. I thought it was really lame. Did you? Yeah, it was I, bad. I, I thought that it was, it was fine. Very very bad. I thought. Um, like they they dropped the prologue demo now. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe there'll be more to that, but like I played it and was like very under underwhelmed. Uh, yeah. And nothing else of note. Other than uh, the uh, announcement that yeah, the final announcement that finally, care about, finally so. getting S- Super S- Nintendo games are yeah. coming to Switch online. S- yes, and finally. they are coming out swinging. They are starting yeah. with a lot of really really nice titles: Mario, Super Mario World, Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Super Mario World Two, Star Fox, Yoshi's uh, Island, Yoshi's Island. Yeah, that that's Super Mario World Two. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I. I I don't care about the rest of them. Demon's Crest is a cool game. Breath of Fire is a cool um, game. But uh, what's um, the rate? F Zero. F Zero. That's yeah. a good one. F Zero is a great game. Um, I'm I'm I just want these. I everybody's been clamoring for these for mm-hmm. years now. I I can say years now because the Switch has been out for multiple years. Um, so that we finally got those. It's like yes, and yeah, and they came out like if they hadn't put like most of these on this list, there would have been a lot of hell. Oh yeah, for because sure. this is like they had to put a link to the past. They had to put Super Mario World. They mm-hmm. had to put Super Metroid. Like mm-hmm. there would have been, it, it just would have been inexcusable if they didn't have the big like a lot oh, of yeah. the big titles. Like, like for me, if they add Final Fantasy four, Final Fantasy six. Uh, my list is complete, personally. Oh, and Earthbound. No, I gotta yeah. have Earthbound. Give me, give me Earthbound, and I will be happy. Like, seriously, like that's all they need to add at this point. Because I don't like like this, the Nintendo games they added. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are really cool. Kirby's Adventure, like the, both both Zeldas, the Mario games, all all excellent games. Star Tropic, I love Star Tropics. Um, maybe they can drop two. At this point, though, I don't care about Nintendo, but the Super Nintendo games, like. Give me these games and I will be excited. Um, <clears throat> it would also be nice if they kept going in, yeah. in a year releasing Nintendo 64 games, but you know, whatever. Um, there was one other thing I forgot. Um, oh, and are you going to get the, the controller? Uh, I might. I, I didn't. I, I am. Like I said, I, I said the same thing about the Super uh, the Nintendo controllers. Yeah, I don't remember if I, I got am. the Nintendo controller. I didn't. I don't think. Like if me, I did, I never got them in the mail, or I know, don't know where I put them. Either way, and never whatever. opened them. Like this is only thirty bucks, though. You get um, you get like an actual functional Super Nintendo controller that's probably higher quality than the eight bit do stuff. Yeah, I'd imagine because it, Mo- most likely it looks just like the eight bit O, but who knows? I I, I mean, way, considering that the eight bit O is is is, is completely based on the original controller yeah. and that this is the con- design the, like the original release of that controller like these are the people that created that controller yeah so, so it's gonna it's gonna be amazing right uh i might get it like i have an 8 bit and it works with the switch mm-hmm. but i might get this just because i bet the battery life will be better because it's nintendo oh yeah considering and their like, ridiculous battery life on the pro controller and, like 80 yeah. fucking hours so like, I, like, i'll dude, probably get it when i first got um when I first got Fire Emblem, mm-hmm. I hadn't charged my Pro Controller in months, and I also hadn't, I mm-hmm. also hadn't really used it for a while though. But it, so it, it just been sitting there, slowly draining over the months. Yeah, because I play my Switch a lot in handheld mode. Because I go in my like my room and I'll watch mm-hmm. YouTube videos on my computer. Or I'll do some dumb shit on my computer while I'm playing Switch, because I'll, the portability. This why not? Yeah, and um, I'm sitting there. I picked that Pro Controller up. Hadn't used it in months. It had just been sitting there. Hadn't been charged in over, and probably a year, to be honest with you. I picked it up. I went through like 60 fucking hours of fire on before I'm like, oh, I got to charge my controller. Yeah. Yeah. I, I played it for a few days straight. And I had been playing um, uh, something. I think I'd played Smash was the last thing I'd played a while back. And then um, <laughs> Marvel I had been playing. And I hadn't charged the controller since it still had half. A battery or half battery life played Fire Emblem for like the first four hours and four or five hours and never hit it. And then, I mean, I plugged it in just because. Yeah. But yeah, nothing. It, it you know, the life is nothing I have compares to it. The other trailer they showed, um, Trials of Mana, the remake. Oh, of, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of. 
I thought that trailer looked really, really cool. It does. It, it no, reminded it totally me of like Tails yeah. uh, a little bit, but more like the the fighting, the action looked better. Yeah. To be honest, and the late the last couple Tails games, at least two day two games ago, have been or is fucking awful. Right. It is inexcusably bad. It it looks like a goddamn. It looks like a fucking uh, GameCube oh, game and is. a bad looking GameCube game. Yeah, because there are a lot of GameCube games that look amazing. Like I think yeah. games like uh, like I said, I mentioned Wind Waker. I think Tales of Symphonia holds up well. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. This game, there's no, there's a lot of places it, it looks... where there just is no background. It's just clear sky <laughs> it, it, yeah, in the battles and things. It's it's bad, and I don't even remember which one I'm playing or had been playing, but right, I, right. I stopped playing it after a couple hours because I was so frustrated with it. Yeah, this is uh This game looks beautiful though. Second Den- Denetsu three, which I think was originally just called Secret of Mana. Yeah. Um so yeah, like I am completely down for that. You're right. I, I, I kinda forgot about that. Because I like the original Secret of Mana. It was really cool. Alright, but Yeah. You know, I, I think we've run out of steam here. I think and that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Like there's no like Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, yeah. don't give a shit. Don't care about NBA two K twenty, it's probably gonna be trash. Don't care about Just Dance twenty. Literal gambling yeah. in their fucking um, shit ass game. You know Cooney, I know there are a lot of people who love that series. Um it's one, just of, my, one of those games I've never Yeah, like same same fear, like I, d- I never played it. Uh Rogue Company, whatever. Five by five, five v five online shooter from High Res. It just looks dumb. It's gonna be another one of those dead on arrival games. Return of the Oberdeen. I don't care. Indie. I never played Whatever. it. Like I love indie games. You know, I, I've waxed poetic so much about like Dead Cells and Hollow Knight on here. It's one of those games that's like I'm sure is great, and a lot of people have said is great. And I probably I don't, don't know maybe I'd enjoy. It, it. doesn't sound like it's something I'd not, care about. It's just yeah I'm not I'm I just don't care to play it. Um, not right now. Tetris anyway. ninety nine gets a d- update. Don't yeah that's cool whatever. But yeah you know that's that's about it. That's the stuff we cared about. That's the stuff we cared about. What did you care about? Tell us in our comments. <laughs> Tell us in our comment section below. Yeah, because there's gonna be a YouTube video of this, yep. so you can go nuts in the YouTube videos. And I gotta start replying to the comments because we actually have had a got, gotten a couple, and I haven't forgotten about you. I've just been busy. <laughs> um, uh, I not... haven't posted on Facebook in forever. God damn Fuck it, Luke. All right, but that's it for us. You know, <laughs> that's it for the Ungodly Geeks. Yeah. We we talked about things. We hope you enjoyed our, our listening to our dumb voices. And if you're watching the video, seeing my dumb face occasionally looking back at the camera. Yeah. Um, if you liked anything we, we have to say or you enjoyed it, or you, if you chuckled at anything, if you laughed at anything, you owe it to us to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> you were entertained. Support us. God damn it. Give me a dollar on Patreon. So... <laughs> I can, you know, run ads on Twitter and grow. Um, but that's it for us. You know, check or us out. Or at least pay for the hosting. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, because we still pay for that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, there you go. For the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you later. Fuck yeah. <laughs>